A woman covered in blood suddenly appeared at the window, staring at the car inside like a zombie. However, due to exhaustion, she slowly slipped down, which frightened the kind old man, but he eventually brought the woman up and prepared to take her to the hospital. At the same time, a search team was in the mountains looking for traces of missing tourists. This incident also attracted widespread media attention, with various media outlets rushing to report it. The reason this incident caused such a response was because the nephew of a congressman was among the missing, leading the police to spare no effort in the search. However, despite several days of searching, there was no progress. Just when the search came to a standstill, Sheriff Daniel received a call from his subordinates informing him that Sarah had been found and was being treated at the hospital. Upon learning the situation, Daniel immediately rushed to the hospital with his capable assistant Anna, hoping to get useful clues from Sarah. However, to their surprise, Sarah had lost her memory. She didn't even remember her daughter dying in a car accident two and a half years ago. Faced with this situation, they didn't know how to continue questioning. Meanwhile, under the leadership of an old man, the police found an abandoned cabin in the forest. To investigate the situation inside the cabin, they sent in a well-trained police dog. However, as soon as the police dog entered, it immediately rushed out and, ignoring its owner's restraint, ran away without looking back. Obviously, there was something inside that terrified it. The police saw this scene and felt that something was seriously wrong, so they quickly called for backup to conduct a thorough search of the cabin. The kind old man told them that this place used to be where his ancestors mined, but one day they mysteriously disappeared after going underground, and to this day, no one knows what happened. Some even speculate that they dug into hell and were punished by Satan, left there. However, the few people present didn't take it seriously and even prepared to take the elevator into this mysterious place when a monster suddenly appeared. The roar it emitted startled the man watching the playback, who quickly pulled out his gun and fired a shot at the monster, but due to a mistake, he missed and ended up falling over in a daze. The gunshot in such a narrow cave was deafening, instantly causing a serious collapse, and the search team almost got buried alive. Fortunately, several experienced team members managed to avoid the falling boulders, but Kuihua was blocked by the falling rocks. The outside team members wanted to rescue her, but were powerless without tools. They wanted to move the boulders, but it was like talking to a wall. Now the entrance was blocked, and the team members were trapped inside the cave. Faced with this dilemma, they could only use the wake, Taki to calm Kuihua's emotions for the time being. Then they continued bravely forward to find an exit, hoping to get Kuihua out safely before bringing more people. The rescue team quickly arrived at a wide open area, where they immediately sensed that something was wrong. When the torches were lit, hundreds of skeletons appeared before them, and among them was a camera covered in bloodstains, which the missing tourists had brought in. Through playback of the video, the search team learned the truth of what happened. The group of friends was attacked by underground monsters, and seeing this scene, the team members were scared and kept retreating, sweating coldly. At this moment, something terrible happened. Everyone panicked and scattered to escape. When they realized the monster hadn't caught up, Anna began shouting loudly, unaware that the monster heard her voice and quietly approached. Fortunately, Sarah appeared in time and covered its mouth, causing the monster, which could locate its prey by sound, to lose its direction. But losing the food that was about to reach its mouth also made the monster extremely angry. However, not long after, the monster heard the captain's shout as he was looking for other team members. Although Daniel tried to take the initiative, he was still knocked down by the monster. At the critical moment, the monster's head was pierced by an ice axe, and the person who came was Zhu Meng, who had been trapped in the cave for many days. Looking at the cold Zhu Meng, Daniel lying on the ground didn't have time to get up and hurriedly explained that he was here to rescue him. However, Zhu Meng just looked at him coldly without saying a word, after all, who knows who at this time. At the same time, Sarah was crawling in the passage with Anna and found a monster not far ahead, which was sleeping peacefully at the moment. At this moment, a mouse appeared and slowly passed in front of Sarah. Although she was extremely frightened, Sarah managed to suppress her scream, but Anna, who was unaware, was so scared that she didn't know what to do. The monster was awakened by the scream and quickly crawled towards the two. Seeing this, Sarah quickly crawled into the hole where the mouse came out, 
even before the monster arrived. However, Anna was not so lucky. Just as she arrived at the entrance of the hole, she came face to face with the monster. Fortunately, at this moment, a glow stick appeared at the entrance of the hole, scaring the monster back a few steps. Then Sarah, who had acted, pulled Anna into the hole, and the two fell into a muddy pit, ready to find a way out. Just as they were groping their way through, they bumped into Zhu Meng and a few others. Zhu Meng cautiously led them to the exit he accidentally found, looking at the monsters feasting nearby. Although they were extremely frightened, they all held their breath, afraid of being heard by the monsters. But at that moment, the monsters also discovered them and immediately pounced on them. Fortunately, in the end, with the sacrifice of Zhu Meng, Sarah managed to bite off the remaining monster's neck. She held Zhu Meng tightly and refused to let go. But at this moment, other monsters in the cave rushed over. In order to let Anna reunite with her daughter, Sarah decided to sacrifice herself. With a roar, she attracted all the monsters away. Anna then climbed out of the cave entrance with the hope of all the team members, and then took out her phone to call for help. But unexpectedly, the old man who had sent Anna to the hospital threw Anna back into the hole he had just climbed out of.